All right, so we're setting up the uh, pipe wiper for its maiden voyage into my operation here. We got the adapter for the gun. And I think that one's tightened a little much. We're running our first run on the uh, 3 8 liquid line. We've got the sock outside to catch the pig. And just make sure that all my valves are ready to roll here. HVAC with Stephen Rarden is sponsored by True Tech Tools. Quality tools, essential support. TrueTechTools.com. So we've got our, I don't know, call it the chamber. And we've got our little pipe wiper pigs. They're just little chunks of insulation, looks like. And we'll load the pig into the chamber and put our adapter for the hose on the end of it. Make sure that's tight. Now I did, I don't know, neglect or forget or whatever to grab my uh, standard regulator. So this will be a, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Substitute. <laughs> something more along the lines of futility, something along <laughs> that <laughs> was what I was thinking. But um, we've got the VN500, we're hoping that that'll work. And uh, we're gonna crank it up to the 500 psi pressure and um, see if we can blow this pig through I don't know I'm estimating about 75 feet of liquid line so here goes nothing maybe <laughs> that's all we've got from here until we maybe uh, run down and find out that it didn't come out the other end The fact that I just had pressure there makes me think maybe we might not have. No, that's going to be amazing if it if it worked. Absolutely amazing. I'm going to put it back on and try one more time before I go all the way downstairs and find out it didn't go through. There we go. That's what I should have heard. That doesn't mean that it's all the way at the end, but that means that we're blowing pressure through. Yeah, but so. it's also probably blowing air through. Otherwise, it would stop if it was plugged, right? Right, you would think. Sorry, so. am I interrupting your video? No, that's fine. Um, it's all good. <laughs> all right. So we should have a pig at the other end now. Here we go. can't see it real well, but it's in there in that mesh. Well, look at that. You don't see a lot of oil, but you see it's discolored. It was just pure black before. Um, and now it's got a rust color to it. So you know that it's cleaned something out of there. There's not a lot of oil residue or whatever, but... Um, I'm confident that we actually did something. I left my razor upstairs, so we're just gonna peel this and put the sock on the other foot to uh, blow that one. And at least in this case, the VN500 seems to be good enough for the uh, pipe wiper so far. I probably don't need to pinch this down and I'm using my copper cutter just because it's convenient um, but we got the sock set up on the suction line and we're gonna blow through um, from the attic on that one so we're gonna set up on the other one which means using the other cartridge or other chamber
exercise in futility. <laughs> That's what I was trying to say the first time. Exercise in futility. But I think we're not uh, having to worry about futility. A lot of people have said that you can't use the VN500 because it, the VN500 regulator does not maintain a constant pressure necessarily. The regulator is sort of a up to pressure. So if you push the, the regulator up to the 500 PSI max, it will build up to 500, but it doesn't feed 500 nonstop. Um, it may feed less. Now, if you've got an obstruction, it'll build up mm -hmm. a little more because it's obstructed. It's, it's sort of like, um, for those of you that understand uh, capacitor motors versus um, variable speed motors, a capacitor motor pushes the same air all the time. A variable speed motor will push as much air as it can, almost despite the restrictions. And I feel like the VN500 is sort of that way, where it varies its output based on need. Load the pig. I noticed that I had a little bit of a air leak mm. when I put it under, it felt tight. But when I put it under pressure, the O-ring actually moved a little, like I didn't have right. it as tight as right, it right, could right. have been. We got the sock on the other end. Here goes. Give it a few seconds, just for ease of dealing with it and checking here. We'll take the hose off. And once I've shown that I, or shown myself that I don't have to worry about not getting the pig through, um, I won't be going through this extra step unless I go outside and I don't find the pig. But, yeah, all right. We'll blow it through a little longer, just for good measure. I didn't hear the boop like I heard the first one, probably because the pig isn't quite as big mm -hmm. compared to the pipe as the first one was. So when the pig went through the end, it made that little mm -hmm. bloop, whatever noise. And this one is probably not as tight. Um, but anyway, we're gonna go uh, check for a pig. <laughs> Look at that. Another little piglet. Right there. Be interesting to see if this one's any different in cleanliness. I think the worst part about this sock is that it likes to hold on to the pig. Sort of like that Chinese finger trap. Okay, so this one's got some oil residue that I'm sure you can't see. Um, but it's shiny where it wasn't shiny before. It doesn't have the, the rust coloring that the other one had. But... Um, I think we definitely did a good thing by making sure we wiped the pipe out, got rid of some crap that didn't need to be in there. From here we're going to go ahead and set the condenser and uh, we're going to be playing with a little zoom lock. Big zoom lock, the 10 second flame free refrigerant fitting from Parker. Reduce labor costs by 60% with no brazing, no flame and no fire spotter. Discover how ZoomLock can help you be more efficient and productive. Visit ZoomLock.com for more information.